think the RUIF um, funding helped with this um, specifically? Oh, it's, it's just given us a huge boost. So we set Lift up um, and it, it was great. We had all our connections with organisations outside of the university and we had PhD students and we had staff working um, around the centre. But what the funding did was allow us to really invest in the centre by, first of all, we in, we employed a senior research officer. So we employed Dr. Amy Grant and her role was to look for more funding, to help with paper writing, to do some public engagement. And that investment, it just paid off so, 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 so many times in that as soon as you have somebody who's got the time, the protected time to do that, and somebody you know who has the the skills and the knowledge around that we just suddenly started getting in more and more grants which employed more and more people and we wrote more and more research and we did more and more and more and we've just grown and, and grown so I think we had a you know a really small sort of funding target that we were going to bring in that was you know more than it was going to cost to employ the the researcher and we just I think we beat that by about 10 times or something so a huge part of that was Amy had the protected time to write a a, a mid-career um, research fellow application to welcome and she got it so it's a 2.4 million pound project that employs a further four research assistants on it and it's for eight years oh, yeah. yeah autistic experiences of reproductive health and pregnancy and menopause and, and things like that. And so it, it's just grown and grown and grown. And if we hadn't had that investment at the beginning, we wouldn't have been able to do all these different projects. And the more projects we did, the more money we got and the more kind of impact we had. And it, it just oh. it just shows what investment can do, Yeah, not only for bringing in money, but for developing people and creating new opportunities and over the project on all our different funded projects we must have employed 10 12 different people over the course of it and had students working on projects and yeah. newly graduated students who wanted a bit of experience you know one day a week doing an honorary role and it's just enabled so much <laughs>